and welcome to the video about continuous blend analysis. To show the concept, I use the installation of an NIR probe as an example. In continuous manufacturing, the sampling methods are very different. The sample is not taken out of the bulk. The bulk is analyzed as the material passes by. Here you see a schematic of an NIR probe installation. An average NIR probe has a diameter in the range of 5 to 10 mm. The probe emits light, which gets scattered on the particles. The reflection is captured by the probe and analyzed. If the material is analyzed with the NIR probe, the sample size is restricted by the depth of penetration of the light rays into the powder. And it is limited by the placement of the probe. You can see that the NIR can only see one specific fraction of the material flow and the spatial orientation of the probe cannot be changed during operation, if it can be changed at all. In the PIT chapter, we mentioned different positions in the process for the NIR probe. Each position comes with its advantages and disadvantages in terms of sample size. In any case, a lot more material is analyzed in total in the continuous process, since new spectra of the NIR probe are collected and evaluated in seconds. This is significantly more than just testing a few tablets for an entire batch in batch manufacturing. Yet probe fouling is an important issue for continuous operation, since over time a layer of material can get stuck to the surface of the probe. Here we zoom into a probe installation. Probe fouling means, for example, that a fixed layer of material gets stuck to the surface of the probe, and then only this fixed layer is measured, and not the material passing by. Thus, an efficient PAT tool needs to be able to detect or avoid such fouling via periodic cleaning to guarantee product safety. Also, a drift of the signal intensity can happen over time, so recalibration is also important. As you can see, many things need to be considered for the blending process to achieve the desired blend quality. With that, I thank you for your attention and see you soon for the following video.